Hi everyone, it's the 5th of December of 2023, and it's also 5 o'clock exactly, uh, as it turns out. Um, I, well no, actually it isn't. It's 4.59, but according to my my alarm clock, it's uh, just gone 5.01. I guess there's a bit of difference there. Anyway, I'm just rumbling, rumbling about nothing. So a quick draft is over for Lost Caverns of Ixalan, but I do have two draft tokens, so I'm going to spend them. Uh, Premier Draft, Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Use. And here we go. Time for a draft. A serious draft. Ready, go! Okay, well. As you know, I do like to rare draft. Should I just... Should I just take the rare? I mean... Or should I take the poison dart frog, do you think? Where's the overlay? There's nothing on the overlay. I might... Hold on. Alt. Okay, I'll take the rare whatever. Okay, um... I'm thinking petrify here. Good. Oh, Thrashing Brontodon is... Okay. Exali's Lawkeeper. Rare Ruin. Maybe Rare Ruin? Mephitic Draft. Uh, I think Petrify is the most... Sa is the safest option. Let's go with that. Probably won't be using the land. I didn't even check to see if that previous pack had a rare in it. Um, oh, Rumbling Rock Slide. Dowsing Device. Uh, okay. I'm thinking Rumbling Rock Slide though. Let's have another look. Or another artifact is the back under your control. Up to one type creature, you can only transform it and get here and then just turn the transform down device you can. Let's take that one. Let's do it. Uh oh, Tinker's Tort. Red White is looking possible. Because I've got to keep I've got to keep in mind like what's being passed around because I'm playing with people. I'll take the tot, I think. There's a few red cards in here. Right. Oh, this pack has no reds in. But I think I might just take Cosmium Blast. Yeah, let's take Cosmium Blast. So that had no reds in. So, so far, I haven't really got creatures. I've just got removal. I mean, Tinker's taught. I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't think I'm going to be using that land. I don't think. Unless I... If I pivot... Tell you what, let's put that in for now. Let's see if I pivot to black. Probably won't. And if I do pivot to black, it probably won't be the... The, the white that goes... Okay. Uh, I could get another removal, but I'm thinking Gora Fire of Suffering. I mean, I don't really have... I mean, I could generate gnomes, maybe, but I, can't, I haven't done that yet. I think I might get the Sorrowing Sandwing. It's a decent... It's a decent card, as is. And there's still no red in this pack. All right. So the people to... My right. Oh, SMQ, you're hogging all the packs. People to my right. Uh, um, seem to be picking a lot of reds, probably. Right. Okay, so there's some red here. I might go hot foot, hot foot norm. I mean, that's fine. You're a mountain cycler. Mm. Let's go hot foot gnome and you're an artifact, so you benefit from the dowsing device. 
Uh, okay. I don't really want tectonic hazard. Um, let's take. That one, put you in the sideboard. Right. Oh, could get Ancestor's Aid. Could get another the hot foot gnome. Could get runaway boulder. No, I'll get the gnome. I mean the thing is I've got some I've got some good room I've got quite a few bits of like removal, so I mean Cosmium Blast, I don't know if I mean none of that is removal, but gives like an opportunity for these gnomes to get through, I guess. I guess. I don't really use Hot Foot Gnome. I haven't really used it. Yeah. So. Okay, let's just take the land out. I could do with another Tinker's Tort. Tinker's Tort. Seems to work well with what I've got going on here. Many artifacts, I suppose. Oh, attentive subscribe. Yeah, let's get you. Be good if I can find a good ways for you to tap. Da 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 da. Waiting on other players. Well, uh, I suppose giving something flying on top of it would be fine. That might be all right for this deck. I've only got one flyer. Uh, my things are small, so I could use that to like. I could maybe use that to block or like save them. Maybe seems to work out okay. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, well, you depend on artifacts, so let's get you. No good for artifacts in you. Sacrifice. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Alright, so pack one seems fine. Oof. Would I want to splash green for that thing? When it does combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards on top of your library, put a new number of dinosaur cards. No. The answer is no. Because it's dinosaur, but I'm taking it. Because it's rare. It's mythic rare. Yep, even. Even uh, in Premier. I've still got quick drafts to go. I'm still going to do more quick drafts. Um. Oh, you passed a rare to me there. Do I just take it? Or do I. Like, be serious for a second. <laughs> and, uh Look at other things. All tech cloud guard, maybe. In fact, I think so. Could I get the bedrock tortoise? No, I'll take the cloud guard. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that, uh, that is a rare that I'm being passed that is on theme. We take one or more non gnome out of a creature, put a one counter on on this. And create X1 one, one gnomes. Yeah. It's on theme as well. Quick my cat could get another petrify. Uh Child of the Volcano. Sunfire Torch. Ah I think Sunfire Torch maybe. So you descended. I think Sunfire Torch. Yeah. I've already got a petrify. There's another petrify there. Um if you send this turn create a treasure. Could get another petrify. In fact I think I will. Okay, it's two petrifies. Ah, something without the fact I can craft. And uh, your rumbling rock slide. No, I think I'll get this little one. All right, which one's this? When tap two and target artifacts, target creature gets plus two plus one. Activate all these sorcery. Uh, potentially. Could maybe get more. Payoffs for my artifacts. Um, I'll take this one. I don't think I'm going to be using two of those. Oh, oh, oh. 
Hold on. Eh. Uh, right. Norman sideboard. Hold on. My phone's falling over where I do my backup recording. Quicksand Whirlpool. I could get a cave. Quicksand Whirlpool is nice. Should I get the cave? I'll get the cave. I mean, the, uh... Hmm. What was I thinking? There were, I, I've lost the thought. There was another thing I was looking at. Right. None of these. So... You inside board. My overlay's not working, so I can't really see. Um, LSV's ratings. But I feel like this is okay. Mm, if I descended, am I going to be descending? Sorry about it. Mm, let's grab this one. Sorry about it. Still got another pack to go. I mean, this this is looking all right, as is, I think. Uh, oh, okay. When it enters the battlefield, uh, create a white norm soldier artifact token with this creature's power artifact is equal to the number of artifacts and the creatures you control. At the beginning of pre comp main phase, you may tap five or tap artifacts you control if you do can transform it, and then it becomes a, that land. Whenever you cast an artifact or creature using spell using the. Da -da -da. Yep. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, I could get another Tinker's Tort. Could get Idol of the Deep King. Mm. Do I want to get Idol of the Deep King? With two damage to a thing. Or Tinker's Tort. Or another Cloud Guard. I'll get the Idol. Idol of the Deep King. Um, oh. Artifact. Uh, exile one or more other artifacts you control. Mana by X. Pretend to get Artifact. Mana by X. From your... Uh, I mean... Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're nice. Oh, a tally's favour. I'll go for a tally's favour. All right. Mischievous pup. Do I have anything? Many things that benefit from when they enter. I don't think so. Are you? You are pirate based. Um. Permanent. Right. Ah, Tinker's Tort, I guess. Ah, okay. And what else is there? 30 minutes and 36 seconds, 37 seconds, 38 seconds, 39 seconds. Minecart, Glorified of Suffering. Yeah. Shame about the card art. Uh, let's get you. I mean, that's a decent card. I might actually put more than one of them in my thing. Let's get the Glorifier of Suffering. Oh, another Sunfire Torch. Let's get the Torch. Let's get that Bleeding Torch. So I'm thinking with Chivas Pup, maybe something to take out. I don't need another acrobatic leap. I do, probably don't even need two. Uh, but I'll sideboard it. Mm. Attentive subscribe. I'll put them on the sideboard. I need to check how many creatures I've got.
Things that actually happen upon the graveyard. Probably not worth it, but... Okay. Should have checked, actually, my collection there. Not that it really matters. I might have to put in another attentive subscribe because on my low end there isn't much going on. Envoy. Okay. I haven't got much I can do early on. I mean, there's things I can bring out. I could bring you out. What are you? Yep, say a Not playing you. Uh huh. And you. Alright then. Okay then. So this this looks pretty good. I mean, the only the thing I'm mostly concerned about is my low end. So I think I might put in both attentive subscribes. That's the only thing. Um. Right. Let's do type creature. So I've got plenty of creatures. I mean, you. I mean, you become a creature. You're a creature. You're a creature. Right. I'm thinking maybe mischievous pup. Oh, got a fire of suffering. I mean, what could? I mean, I suppose I've got. I do have gnomes, don't I? And you can make gnomes. I take out an acrobatic leap. Take out one acrobatic leap. Petrify is good, Cosmium Blast, Tinker's Tort, Tali's Favour. Uh, what are you tapping to? Right, okay, that's fine. Let's get, to get rid of three cards. I think I'll get rid of the Mischievous Pup. Envoy. Um. Exile one or more other artifacts you control with total mana value X. Return target artifact card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. I mean, it ramps me a bit, I guess. And it counts as an artifact. Could take out maybe one of the Sunfire Torches. I could take... Uh... I don't know. Take one one of the norms, I think. Take out one of the norms. And just take out. I'm not sure about. No, that's not too bad. I could take out a petrify. I've got a petrify and a cosmium blast. Um, what other removal do I have? Because I had a few didn't I? So I've got two petrifies, cosmium blast. Uh, do I have any of this? Uh, this kind of. Right. My take out envoy. Or the glorifier. One of those two, I think. Just take out the glorifier. I'm not going to have... Too many gnomes to sacrifice. I'll take out the glorifier. That's gonna help me like long game. Okay. This seems fine. This seems fine. Right. So one win, two win, three wins. Yeah. Okay. Let's give this a go. Hecarino. Right, this seems fine. Oh. 
Oh, I mean, you are a norm, that is kind of annoying. Whenever you attack with one or more non norm creatures, put a 1 1 counter on this. Yeah. Uh. Now, do I want to bring you out and attack? How do I just want to attack? You know what? Of course, I am. I am attacking with norms. Uh the beginning. Man, this is a lot to take in. I need a lot of them. But I'll leave it on top. Okay. That's that dead. I mean, the thing is that that's a, un it's unfortunate that... Well, it's unfortunate that they play such a big thing there. Uh, I'll hang back. So are they going to play with dinosaurs? I should have I should have milled this thing. I think I should have milled it. Dead weight. All right. Yeah, I don't like that six six. Okay, so at the bare minimum. I can start spamming norms. At the minimum. Right. I'll take the six. They're probably going to bring something else out now. All right. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna bring you out. I'm gonna bring you out and gain three life. Yeah. Okay. I think this thing probably isn't gonna work. Twenty-three minutes and four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds. Oh I can petrify something. Uh, I don't. When it enters the battlefield, create a white norm artifact with this number of artifacts. So that'll be two. It'll be a two-two. Ah. Uh. Right. Petrify that thing. Swing overhead. Okay, swing the upper three. Hmm. Sun coil viper. That's. Again, that's that's a, it's that's one of those cards where it's like I see it and I'm like, oh right, I kind of recognise that art, but yeah, not much really. That's a lot of damage. That's ten damage. I think I have to block off the six there. I'm gonna make my thousand moon smithy pretty bad. Tinker's taught. Right. Uh, 
Oh, they've got another dinosaur, so their big thing's gonna... Oh, it's a far, far. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I'll hang back for now. I can double block. I mean, that will make my... My norm worse, I guess. I kind of like it to stick around to make so I can add some tinker studs. Never mind, it's dead anyway. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Yeah. And they can keep doing that as well. Right. I, I can do that to heal if I wanted to. I uh, can't use your ability. Oh, I just nudged the microphone there. I have lost. I mean, I can heal three, but what good's that going to do? Can't quite transform this, because I can't survive the turn. If they just go attack with everything, and then they've won. I mean, okay. Oh, this stupid tower on the back of my seat keeps falling down. It's so annoying. I mean, what could I... One second. So... Right. Sit back down again. Nothing I can do with that. So, that's the first game loss. Defeat. Oh, it feels bad. It feels bad. Okay, not fantastic, but at least I can bring stuff out for a couple turns. Well, there's another one. Very nice, you are equipped one. Okay. Market gnome. Uh. Let's do you first. So in case they have a kill spell for one blue. <laughs> Which obviously they do not. Okay, this is looking okay. Uh... I can attack, and I could. It's got one sacrifice of the creature artifact to give it indestructible. So let's not sack that. They're gonna let that through. That's fine. Uh, do I want to bring you out? Yeah, yes, I want to bring you out. I would like to scry too. I mean, they're both fine, but I need to get to my lands. 
I could move this, but no. I could craft that with something. I could craft that with my Tinker's Tot, I guess. I could make my my 4-1 fly. Right. I'll take the two. Not much I can do there. Right. This is a land. It is a land. Not an ideal land, though. Uh, so when it flies... Uh Okay. Um Okay, attack with this first. Let's see what they do. Okay. They draw a card and gain one life. You go right ahead. Uh best if I could sack this and then use that, but uh I think I think I have to sack it now. Yeah, so I give one of my creatures flying. Thirty one minutes and thirty six seconds, thirty seven seconds, thirty eight, thirty nine. Oh, can they just kill that now? That would be most displeasurable. <laughs> I mean, my thousand sun, my thousand, is it thousand moon smithy? Is that what it's called? Yeah. What a what a real tongue twister of a of a name. Thousand moon smithy. That's not nice. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll take it though because. My smithy, uh. Okay. Smithy! So I get a big. A big gnome. That's nice. I do like a big gnome. Right, so you both attack. Yep. Um no. Okay. So the is that the beginning of your upkeep? Our pre comet main phase? Oh they've got their own. Okay. Alright. But they're not going to attack. Because I've got a giant thing going on. I may tap if I do transform it. So hold on, let's get this right. So if I transform it, add a white, whatever you call it, an artifact or creature. Uh, cr create a white gnome. Ah, okay, yeah. So that gives me more. Uh, so I tap. One, two, three, four. Uh. Five. Okay. Uh, now I can. Suppose I could petrify that big one, or I could bring you out. Um. No, I want to save. Okay, let's petrify the big one, and I could. Okay. Well, that's a win. Okay, so it's not zero three. <laughs> That's all. Whenever I get my first win, it's always it's not zero three. I'm always, I'm always like, ah, oh. you know, every time I win a game, it's like, well, here's the worst that could happen from from this point on. But okay, but yeah, you've really got to get to three wins to get that thousand gems. That's a big jump. I mean, how many gems? I mean, it cost 9,000 coins for the draft token, I guess. Because 
I always I, I always buy the tokens when they're on offer because you know you get your most value for money I guess. I mean I suppose you could you could make an argument saying oh it's it's the decoy effect or whatever I don't think it is, but are you be, oh, oh you've been affected by anchoring. Whatever. It's nice to have a few premiers. It feels premier drafts feel like what should be the normal draft. Quick draft is like a as this opponent's name is only available for a limited time. Okay. Well, plenty of uh, removal and stuff. Even more removal and stuff. Nothing I can put out. Um. Now what do you do? I've never... Again, another card that I, I've seen quite a bit, but never really, like, used much. Uh. Okay. I think I want... Uh, maybe we want to... Explorer's Cache. Do I want to use that now? No, I do not. I do not. I kind of want to leave you back as well. Your flash. Well, your flash. So we'll see what they do first. Right. Bring it. Okay. Well. Watch your ward too. That's I'll pay. I'll pay ward too. Petrify you down. That's a small thing. I can. Um, I can idle that one. Can't currently idle it. Could bring you out. Uh, well, if they attack, I can plus one plus three. Which they might attack in the air. Yeah, okay. Oh, do they have something here? Quicksand Whirlpool. Oh, that's a lot of. Okay. That's a lot of mana, but then again, it's a lot of stuff. I don't have anything out. Um, I can Cosmium Blast. Uh, I don't... Uh, I could bring you out and make a Norm. But it would only be a... A 2-2. Two -two. Let's do it. Oh, three, three. oh, yeah, 3-3 three, because three, of itself. Crafted that attack. What does that become again? Alright. I can kill one of those, I guess. Uh, I could... I could attack. I could do you. And Cosmium Blast, maybe? Okay. I've got some tricks up my sleeve here, I guess. In fact, I should probably do that now to increase its power. To make it a 4-4. I mean, if they don't block even. They're going to let that through. Okay. That's nice. Okay. I mean, it's not that nice, really. They are still ahead. If they attack with their big one. Okay. Just cause me and blast you. Nice. Alright, can I get a land, please? Oh, Jesus. You're not a land. 
but uh, I know I'm playing quite hastily here. Oh my god, I had a bunch of lads in a row. Petrify! Oh my goodness. I'm looking out here. Ooh. Uh, now, hold on. 40 minutes and 25 seconds, 26 seconds, 27, 28. I could sunfire. No, I just equip us on one sunfire torch. Right, now let's bring you up. Oh, of course, that powers up even more. Can't forget about that. And let's equip you onto you. Okay. Um, yeah, let's sacrifice it and get rid of their 2-2 two -two norm. Of course, yeah, that... Yeah, that does make it significantly weaker. Man, this is this game is... It's flying by, but... Ah, ha ha I could transform this. I'll bring you up for now. Gain three life. Six, six. Let's do it. Double block in, yeah. Get rid of both of them. Okay. So I'm at the advantage here. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> I mean, I can discover... I can equip. Do I have... I've got you. Right, let's bring you out. Do I want to discover? Mm. I can equip one and two. Can't do any discovering those. I'll give it plus two plus... Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, five, six, that would give it plus two, plus one, does that make it a six? Uh, okay. They've got no cards in hand. I could maybe do this, okay. Uh, do I want to do that? I kind of don't. Oh, wait. No, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> well, okay. Okay, it depends on what they draw here. Oh, explore. Nope, nope. No. Oh, hold on. No, they can't use it. They can't use it. Nice. I was thinking they were going to draw that. I recognised it was... I could tell by the eyes it was Malamut Battleglyph, but... They can't use it. Okay, so is that 2-1 then? I believe that is 2-1. Okay. One more win and I'm doing... Doing pretty well. One more win to get to the three wins, which would... Drop me from 250 gems to 1,000. That's a big boost in gems. The thing is as well though, is that the reward, like the main reward of doing well in Premier Draft is packs. And that's the reward I'm least concerned about. I'd rather get gems. Thrack. Okay. Oh, did they mulligan? They did. Woohoo. I do like it when they mulligan. Right. 
Subscribe. Next turn, brazen. And then all tech. I don't. Oh, maybe I don't want to attack. Um, no, maybe I just. Uh, okay. Might be a little hasty, but I get a. It doesn't mean I get a scry in at least. Oh, fuck norm. Yeah, sure. I can bring in a. Uh, Altic Cloud Guard next, I think. Poison Dart Frog. Right. Let's just attack. Because I think that they. Thousand Moon Smithy. I think they won't want to. I mean, they could block and trade, but I think they probably won't want to. Ah, uh, do I take the smithy? You know what? I think I will. I think I will. That's fine. I can I can make that quite powerful because I can bring out the cloud guard, the um, the norm. That adds, really adds more artifacts. Right. Uh. Let's think about how to do this. Do I want to attack now? Let's attack. And if they... I mean, they might block it and they might trade. Um. No, let's not have you. Right. Yeah, that's fine. At least it gets rid of their frog. Okay. That's fine. I mean, if I could bring out Brazen Blade Master, that'd be nice. But I'm thinking, oh, fuck, no, I could. There's a few things I could do. I mean, oh, Death Touch. Death Touch. Oh, oh, oh. No. All right. Uh. Um. <sighs> right. Yeah. So, we're going to enter Scry 2. I've got enough for both of these. Now, uh, oh, Cosmium Blast. Oh, uh, man. Cosmium Blast is nice. I kind of want, so if I could do this, uh, whenever you cast an artifact or creature spell using the mana produced by the barracks, the power to is equal to the number of artifacts and or creatures you control. Well, um, okay, let's put the mountain to the bottom, but the Cosmium Blast, you can stay. Do I have an artifact in my graveyard? I do. I mean, they've got... They've got two death... Well, a death touch and a potential death toucher. If they can... They can maybe use some removal spell on my 7-7. Seven, seven, but otherwise, because of their death touch potential... I'm pretty stuck. Let's... One, two, three... Yeah, let's help yourself. Four. Five. All right. Um, you can craft with an artifact. Let's get 
flying. Okay. Yep. I mean, I could have gotten this one instead. The equipment. Uh, I could attack. I could attack. Uh, oh man. Hmm. Tell you what. Let's attack with you. Let's see how this goes. Now if they block it. That's what I thought. Okay. Still death touches a uh, the the what there's the one the death touch reach guy oh oh that's I'm not in a good boss state for that one I could petrify I could petrify my uh let's petrify you and now I can hold on craft with artifact I guess plus two plus oh I can reach over. Uh, hold on. Uh, whenever you cast an artifact or creature spell using mana, yeah. Uh, okay. Attach it to this one. Okay, now let's swing in for a lot of damage here. Yeah, give you flying. Just fly right over. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so they can get a big... A big 7-7 seven, seven here. Um, I could block it with my norm, but... I'd rather not. I'll just take the 7. Why not Atali's favour? Why not? I could have Atali's favoured the 6-6. The six, six. Vanguard of the Rose, fine. Have I got no cards in hand? I think, yep. Okay. I'm at 3-1. Very nice. Let's let's have a look at the rewards. Let's have a little a little cheeky a little cheeky gander. I don't know if I don't know if that's the right word. Anyway, two packs and a thousand gems. So if I win one more I've made a very good I mean It won't quite be a profit on gems in terms of cost, but I'll get a lot of a lot of cards from it from it. So the thing is, if you're if you're good at draft, then um, Premier Draft will fill out your collection a lot faster than Quick Draft. But yeah, my last draft was really nice. Um, I think it was it was the uh, explore deck. I managed to go six two with it, six three with it. Um, the draft I did before that, because I accidentally pressed the Windows key, it messed up the audio, and I tried to re I tried like editing it and rendering it, and it was just didn't quite work out. Right. Okay. Um. I'll I'll keep this. I actually need to draw another card. I mean another land. 
yeah. So, I mean, this isn't going to do, do much, at least not for now. If I don't draw land... I could be in trouble. Uh, I have a card from my hand. Well, I think I think Acrobatic Leap is the one I'm going to exile. Okay. Right, come on. I need a land. You're not a land. They are too weak to cause me a blast. <sighs> yeah, they're going to keep chipping in for one. You too are not a land. Because uh, plus one plus all, and has haste. And has haste. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just do it because I need the scry. Yep. Yeah, so I'm falling behind on land, so there's a, a better chance that I lose this game. But I could. I mean, are they gonna. If they bring something big out. I mean, I could probably just. Alright, well. There's a thing to cause me and blast, I guess. But I'm gonna do this in Discover 3. Idol of the Deep King. Yes. Uh. Oh, Dowsing Device. So, Dowsing Device. Okay. Idol of the Deep King. Uh. Let's get rid of this one. All right. I'm gonna let that through. Fine. Didn't leave enough open for Cosmian Blast, but so be it. Right. Uh, whatever I do, a device. Hold on. You control four or more artifacts. Then transform it. Okay. So this is gonna not transform yet. What have they got? Some join the dead tomfoolery. What do you know? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I don't have to destroy you. I'll destroy the idol. I was thinking I should destroy a creature. Oh, it, oh okay, that, never mind. <laughs> it's that I got mixed up. Yeah, because that still kills it because it's a minus effect. So Indestructible doesn't save it. Alright. Yeah, I can't. I don't have enough to survive here. Uh, I guess plus one, plus O. Yeah. I'll probably let this there, I imagine. 
if they attack with all of those. I mean, if they say, I mean, they're going to bring something out or do some sort of spell. Gain two life. Have they descended this turn? No. I mean, I could maybe survive another turn, but it's not quite enough. They could do five damage to me now. Yeah, and I could... Oh, they've caught... Okay, they've descended. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do both. I could Tinker's Tort. Uh... Okay, I think this is not going to work, but... Okay. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I mean, they can swing in with everything, so I have lost this. They attack with everything. Yep. Can't deal with it. Okay. Well. I mean, I can still win more than three, but. Getting to three is still decent. I mean, getting to three, let's think about this. So, a premier draft value wise is 1,000. Uh, in terms of like packs themselves in terms of card progress and all that um i've spent 500 gems to get what i've drafted and two packs so i mean i don't know it seems okay but i'd rather i'd rather get more gems right I'm going to get to point two. I don't know how to pronounce their name. Ooh. Let's look on this hand. Oh, not great, but okay. Uh, yeah, there's things I can do here. Um, let's take out you. Into the battlefield, scry two, two lands. Uh, oh, let's get rid of you. I need, I need more lands. I need my lands. Baskin Kabibara. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel I feel like they had a stagger in size or something. Okay. Mm, okay, let's just do this to scry. Sunfire Torch. Uh, no. Worst case situation, I can cycle the so the soaring sandwing, and then petrify maybe. Or I could still leave mana open for acrobatic leap, perhaps. But even if this thing dies. I can craft with it, I guess. Paleontologist. Okay. Uh, 
Hmm. Is anything worth petrifying here, really? I still don't think so. Let's cry one. Plans? Uh, no, not at this point. I mean, it would be nice to get some more lands to do the soaring sandwich, I guess. Okay. Um, so they're gonna. It's acrobatic leap you. Just to save you. Oh, potentially. Okay. This seems not too bad, but I'm not feeling great about it. No, you can tap for dinosaur. Can you tap for dinosaur mana? Oh no, you can tap for just mana. And two. Well, there's a thing I can petrify. Although no, it doesn't. No, I know I can't. It's hexproof. Never mind then. And it inverts power and toughness, doesn't it? Yep. Well, not invert, but it makes their combat damage equal to their toughness. Oh, they can't. Okay. Petrify is it activated abilities. Well, I guess it is activated abilities, but even still. Um. Tackle both of these. Scry one. Oof. I mean, I've got one, two, three, four. That'd be a four, four. All right. I mean. It would kind of help. So they're going to hit me for six now. Off three. Each player sacrifices two creatures. Okay, well that's made my smithy much worse. One hour, eight minutes and thirty-four seconds, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Alright then. So what's gonna be a 3-3? Pathetic. Pathetic. Right. Let's do it. I mean, I can't. No, it's just, I just can't do anything here. No, and then they could just swing in and kill me. Yep, all right. 3-3. Three, three. Still hitting the three three wins is the is the threshold. That's the main one.
Okay. If I get a thousand and two boosters. So effectively, I've spent, if you think of it, it's 1,500. So. Yeah, I don't know. You can spend all day like trying to do the maths and trying to figure it out and like, oh, this is good and this this is good and this does this much. But at the end of the day, it's just you know, you just do what you can. And it's not like I don't play it enough. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I still play the game plenty. All right then. Thank you. Claim. And that's it for that. And uh, just not that long over an hour either. That wasn't too bad. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully the audio's worked fine on this one. I am really going to have to go back and edit the audio on, because there's, there's one with the, a couple of drafts ago where the, like, at the time of recording this, I still haven't got that fixed. So I need to go back and re-render the audio by itself and then use a different software and do the... Uh, it's annoying. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.